Hi, I'm Stephen. And I'm Carla, and we are Ravenwood Collectibles. Thank you for joining us. We are really, really excited to bring you our first episode. Today, we're going to take you on a collection tour of our home. We're a family of collectors. Our kids are collectors. My nephew's a collector. My brother's a collector. In fact, my brother, who's 12 years older than me, really inspired me as a young man to get into collecting. And we have traveled all over as a family to add to our collections. We go to Disneyland, we go to Star Wars Celebration, Comic Cons, road trips, anywhere that we think that we can find vintage toys, prop replicas, autographs, and all the cool stuff that we really love. It's really movie and TV series that kind of inspire our collections. In fact, in 1977, coming home from the movie theater after seeing Star Wars, my grandpa bought me my very first Kenner Star Wars action figure, which ended up being a Chewbacca. And that just got me started as a collector, as a small young man. And then in 1981, seeing Raiders of the Lost Ark just blew my mind. And from then, I decided that I wanted to collect everything I could. And I have always loved all things Disney. I can remember as a kid sitting there on Sunday nights watching the wonderful world of Disney on TV. I wished that I could go to Disneyland Castle and fly over it just like Tinkerbell, but it wasn't until my first trip there, which was actually our honeymoon, that I decided that I wanted to start collecting Disney pieces. I am such a big Disney collector though that I decided I was gonna name my car Madden Leota. That way I could take a little piece of Disney magic with me anywhere I went. Well, that's probably enough about us. I think we should so. probably go on this collection tour. Let's do it. All right. Episode one, baby.
Disneyland Park map from 1958. I was lucky enough to find this at an estate sale of all places. Um, so I got really excited when I figured out what this was. Um, Stephen's sister actually uh, saw it first and was like, oh, go take a look at that. <laughs> so um, it's pretty cool. It's really interesting to take a look at the map and see so many things that are not there anymore. Um, but it was in really nice shape and we have a local frame guy who did a amazing job matting and printing it up for me. So this is one of my kind of braille pieces and was really glad to get it. So in the cases behind me are toys that were released long before I was even born, which takes us back to that influence of my brother on me at a young age. In 1961, the British TV show The Avengers is released, which leads us right into that spy craze of 1962 with James Bond and Dr. No. And then in 1965, Mel Brooks releases the TV show Get Smart. And then after that, the toy industry explodes in 1966 with the release of The Green Hornet, Man From U.N.C.L.E., and Batman.
When you decide that you're going to start collecting Disney items, you really have to find a focus. There is so much Disney stuff out there that if you don't zero in on the things that you really, really like, you're collecting everything under the sun and you just don't have enough room for it all. So one of the things that I focus on in my collection are items from the Lewis Marks Company. They did a lot of Disney toys in the 1950s and 60s. Uh, some metal, some plastic. I really am fascinated by the Disneykins line, which is represented by the castle here. They were little tiny hand-painted plastic miniatures. Um, they don't really do anything except for stand there, but I just find them really fascinating. I appreciate all the hard work that goes into hand painting something like that. And as a mom, I can tell you that these are the kind of things that end up in a vacuum cleaner just like that. So I am really astounded that they have made it from the 50s and the 60s until now. So in 1978, my family took a vacation in Nevada. We ended up in Lake Tahoe and spent the weekend at the Ponderosa Ranch. I don't remember any of it at four years old, but for whatever reason, it inspired me. And I've ended up collecting a ton of Ponderosa Ranch memorabilia, and which led me into the toys.
for joining us for our first video. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. If you liked our content, make sure to give us a good thumbs up and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Ravenwood Collectibles. I've got kind of a wild idea. What if the next episode we shoot it in a cave? A cave? Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're going to shoot in a cave? Yeah, in a cave. How is that possible? I don't know what he's thinking. How are we going to get lights in the cave?